It was never painted black, turned into a Fillmore South by Bill Graham. It wasn't turned into a rock room or a disco. It stayed a movie theater and live performance theater for the 92 years it's been here. Tampa Theater has been here in the part of downtown Tampa since October 15th, 1926. The part that people see is, is the beauty and the grandeur that Eberson designed. But of course, as a functioning theater that's been operating for 91 years, of course, we have all these wonderful little nooks and crannies where all the smoke and mirrors are kept. And that's why we have great people like our stage manager, Lloyd, uh, who has crawled over every inch of this building. Come on. And knows where all of the switches and all of the plugs are to keep everything running how it's supposed to. All right, standby organ, standby lights, ready and go. A hole in the stage, an organ console, and a scissor lift, and a really cool reveal. Simple tricks. So we total about 1,400 organ pipes right now, um, and they're actually concealed behind the walls. Uh, if you can see those false balconies, each of those is an organ chamber where all of those pipes are housed. Getting in there during the piece, finding the pipe that's sounding uncontrollably, capping it, and making sure the organist doesn't have to play around that one note. Welcome to the stage left, house right organ chamber. This is where the noise making stuff is. The console downstairs basically opens and closes valves under each of these pipes and the pipe will sound. This is where the noise comes from. In this chamber, we've got uh, flute pipes, reed pipes. This is a flute pipe. And we also have effects. And these are all triggered off of the Wurlitzer console. One of the signature elements in John Eberson's atmospheric theaters is, of course, that night sky above us. People ask us all the time, how do you change the light bulbs? How in the world do you get up to those stars when one of them burns out? And the genius of John Eberson's design really shines uh, when you see that he built above the night sky a series of catwalks and a, a workspace. We are now above our 99 star field in the audience ceiling. Each one of these stars is actually a light bulb over a hole in the ceiling. The coal fluorescents run really blue, and the star goes there. And now we have added another point of light in Tampa Theater's ceiling. Hopefully you've enjoyed this special behind the scenes look at Tampa Theater and learning some of the secrets that make us the most beautiful and incredible movie palace in downtown Tampa, maybe in the world. But there's really only one way to see Tampa Theater, and that's in person. So check out our website at tampatheater.org for a full list of first-run films, classic movies, live shows, all kinds of special events. And we'll hope to see you here soon. Oh, we love Jill there. And I have been to that theater many times. I thought I had seen everything. I had not seen that perspective yet on how all the lights work and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, and how they house all the organs, right? Yeah. I, you know what, Carly? I don't know about you, but during this time, I really feel like if I have an inkling to